Okay, I want to go over some of the additional functions of Microsoft Excel, um, where some of the hidden things are. For example, um, if I was to go up and try to do my spell check, I don't see my spell check button on here anywhere. But if I look under this little menu off to the right here, if I haven't used an item for a while, Excel Office in general tries to hide it so that it's not in my way. So there may be a time when something like the size of your document or you know an undo or something ends up in there. So I'll just click spelling. Okay, and it checked my spelling, but now you'll see that my spelling is out here. It's no longer in this hidden option. Okay, now another thing is if I go up and I click format, for example, you'll see these little double arrows at the bottom. What that means is that there's more options down there that it's not showing me. And what I can do is I can go down and click it. And then once I've clicked it, I can see all of my menus until I go down and then go back up. I really don't like that, so what I'm going to do is show you how to turn that off. I'm going to go to Tools, Customize, and down in my Options, I'm going to check the box that says Always Show Full Menus. Okay, and I'm going to click Close, and now when I do Tools, it shows me everything. Okay, I don't have to go to that extra step to be able to see what's in my menu. Another thing that isn't usually covered is if you go down to Tools and Options, you have the option of turning off things such as your scroll bars or your sheet tabs. I don't recommend turning those things off like your row and column headers, but you may want to turn off grid lines or you may decide you want your grid lines to be a different color. You know, maybe a light gold or something. Um, it kind of, it's up to you how you want it. I like to leave things kind of the way they're set up here, but there may be some things under here that you want to change. For example, if I click on edit, one of the things that is allowed in mine is allow cell drag and drop because I I use that a lot. Some people though have a tendency to accidentally click and drag and drop and they can turn that off. Okay, you can see there's other options like turning off autocomplete um, and we'll go over that later. But you can see there's all these different options, transitions, custom lists, charts, um, security, etc, etc, etc. So you could turn your auto save, or auto recover every 10 minutes or drop it down or raise it. Basically what that does is every 10 minutes my document that I'm working on saves itself and this helps a lot because sometimes I'll come back or I'll be working on something and the thing will crash and luckily it saved a few minutes before. All right, And you can set your colors up if you want. Copy colors from something else. Anyway, I'm going to do OK and go back to where I was. OK, another thing that's useful is being able to merge cells. So for example, let's say I'm doing a form here and I want to have a person's name, um, date of birth, uh, phone, city, state, zip. Okay, and I want to have this, let's, let's go ahead and start, make this column smaller. I'm kind of weird control freak this way. And I'm going to select out this far, and I'm going to go to format cells, and I'm going to make this a color, like for example, blue. Okay. However, I want these cells to be a different color. I want those to be white. Okay, and I'm going to copy and maybe I want this to be just too wide. Okay, I'm getting a little creative here. Just, just go with me for a minute here. City, state, zip. Okay. So you can see how having some of it white and some of it blue makes it a little more intuitive for the, for the person using it. I can insert a little column here. and But the problem is if they go to type in here, they're going to type here and then it's got these extra boxes. But what I can do is I can select these and do format cells and actually do merge cells. So now that's one cell now. Okay, I want to do format cells 
merge cells. That's one. I want these two to be merged. Okay, again. And that's okay, and that's okay. And make that a little smaller. Okay, now once I have something like this, I can actually select it and make it a border. And if I had to go in here and type my name, it's in one long cell. I go down to the next one. Okay. Now, what you can do is I can click and control click to select all of my different cells here and go to, let's see, tools, protection, and then protect my sheet. But first I want to format cells, protection, and then unlock these. These are the ones I'm unlocking. That'll make more sense here in a second. And now what I want to do is do tools, protection, protect sheet. Now I'm going to go ahead and protect worksheet and contents of locked cells. And I'm going to be able to not select locked cells. I only want to be able to select unlocked cells. So I'll do OK. And now it doesn't really look any different, but I can only click on spots that I have unlocked. Okay, so if you wanted people to only be able to type in those areas, that's what a protected field does. Now if you ever wanted to make a change on this, you have to go up to Tools, Protections, and then Unprotect Sheet. Okay, now I can go anywhere, I can resize stuff, whatever. Okay. Now one more kind of little trick while I'm in here. You saw how I went in and I did borders. I can I can add a border. That's pretty easy. But if you want to get fancy and you want to do draw borders, you can actually choose to draw borders in a certain color. For example, let's say I want to do maybe a dark gray large and I want to draw across the top and then the left on each of these cells. Okay. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to get a light a lighter gray. Oops. <laughs> get a lighter gray and I'm going to go on these. Okay, now basically what this is doing, the whole rule reason I'm going to this extra step is that it's kind of going to give it a little bit of a 3D look. All right, and I go, okay. And so now you see how, since I have the shadow on the top and the left and the brighter spots on the bottom and the right, it makes it look like it's kind of recessed a little bit. So I'm going to go back down here in my tools and my protection and protect my sheet again. All right, and I'm just going to leave it like that. So people can only type in these fields. This is great if you have to set something up. Um, you know, let's say you have an invoice that you do a lot, or a form that you have to fill out a lot, and you tend to screw it up. Or maybe you have an employee that can't seem to follow along, so you can make it kind of more foolproof. Um, anyway, so that's kind of a another technique that I use in um, Excel. I uh, hope it works for you and I hope it's fun. Um, if it's not fun, don't do it. <laughs> That's my motto. Alright, so thanks a lot. Have fun.